commentators and, and the market sort of assumes that price is going to go backwards. Mm. Um, doesn't seem to be the case. Sam, how's it going today? Yeah, I'm good, Chris. I'm pretty amazed by the place that we're in today. Yeah, this place is um, super epic. Sam, where, whereabouts are we? Yeah, so we're at 29 Hepburn Street in Freemans Bay, Auckland. Um, iconic and exquisite. Um, this place has five bedrooms and six bathrooms on about 610 square meters. Yeah, pretty cool place to be in, I think, for today. This is actually a brand new home. Like, um, from the outside, it looks like it's character, yeah. um, but it's a couple of years old. Stunning, um, yeah. What's your, what's your favourite feature, Sam? Like, we had a bit of a snook around. Yeah, um, I mean, definitely there's a lot to see here, but there's a super cool feature right right in front of us here that's a little, like, Japanese-style garden just yeah. in the middle of the house. Yeah. Um, and pretty cool. It's just been raining down. You can kind of see it come through. Beautiful, yeah. Yeah, this place is super cool. Um, yeah. So if you want to learn more about this one, um, contact Chris Batchelor from Bailey's Takapuna, and um, you can arrange a private viewing. and. Take you through. Yeah, yeah, super stunning. So getting into the news, right? So over the past week, we had the OCR announcement. Um, what happened there? Yeah, so um, they announced that it will be unchanged at 5.5%. Yep. They're kind of confident that sustaining at this level will help to reach that target inflation like within the calendar year. So yep. yeah, and I think uh, you've kind of heard some things about banks um, setting their future rates. Yeah, and yeah. so it's, it's interesting, like um, the market, like a bit of commentators coming out saying that um, OCR cuts are starting to be priced in from like August this year, mm -hmm. uh, which is kind of exciting, like that should be good for the market um, and might sort of set a nice little settling point before we start to see some growth off the back of maybe lowering interest rates. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, super exciting. And so next up on the, the topic of construction costs, right? So CoreLogic released their latest Cordell construction cost index. Uh, what, what did this feature, Sam? Yeah, so um, results were that construction costs are up 2.3% over the last 12 months. This is the lowest increase in about eight years, but I guess, yeah, it's still kind of on that upward trajectory. Yeah, and no, it's, it's funny, right? Because um, a lot of commentators and, and the market sort of assumes that price is going to go backwards. Mm. Um, doesn't seem to be the case mm. and it was surprising to still see construction costs growing over that period and yeah. um, you know kind of, kind of interesting to relate to a home like this where you've got um, effectively like a new build mm -hmm. and um, the fact that yeah it's not going to get cheaper and even with um, that big drop in construction activity um, can stop, costs are still pretty sticky so yeah. Yeah, crazy. The other big sort of announcement was the latest um, home consent data from StatsNZ. Mm -hmm. um, so this had sort of 3,000 homes consented in February, which was down on February 2023. Um, what was the annual consent sort of situation? Yeah, so 12 months to February, annual consents were down about 25% um, yeah. nationally. Um, but interestingly, um, or randomly, Gisborne was the only region that's had consistent annual increases since like October last year. Yeah, okay. So, you know, I guess that must be off the back of the cyclone, right? Yeah, yeah. And I think a lot of multi-unit dwellings um, popping up there. Yeah, cool. And um, sort of um, side story, right? But over the course of this week, we um, had a big evening at Bailey's with the Uden's Bailey's um, Developers Evening. And a massive crowd there, which shows that I guess there is that um, growing sense that it's now is the time to kind of start planning your next project because mm. um, you don't want to miss that cycle as it kicks back off. Yeah. Um, yeah, so pretty exciting. Moving into our sales snapshot, right? So um, Sam, we've got Bailey's country team. We've recently released our rural market updates for H1 uh, 2024. Big shout out to EOS for doing those. Super good work. Yeah, yeah super cool. Eh? And um, off the back of this, we figured we'd sample three sales from across those reports. And so, um, Sam, what have we got up first? Yeah, so first up, I've got 1588 Alexandra Road in Matamata in the Waikato. It's a 193 hectare dairy farm with 900 milking cows producing around 600,000 kgs of milk solids. Um, this one was sold by Sam Troughton from Bailey's Matamata for 13.6 million, um, around 70k per hectare. Yeah, it's yeah. quite good on the dairy side. And then um, moving into pastoral, so um, we've got 105 Pyramid Creek Road in Wendon in Southland. Um, 171 hectare pastoral property. Tidy property held in multiple titles. Includes a large wool shed, reticulated water. This was marketed by Chris Swale from Bailey to Southland Rural. Sold for 3.7 million, which is about 21,600 per hectare. And last up, I've got 44 Armstrong Road in Tapuna Bay of Plenty. Um, this is a kiwi fruit orchard. Um, this is a 6.21 hectare site planted with 
3.55 canopy hectares split across Sun Gold G3 and Hayward kiwi fruit. This one was marketed by Phil Mangos and Snow Williams from Bailey's Tauranga and sold for 4.7 million or 750k per hectare um, and 1.3 million per canopy hectare. Yeah, cool. Yeah, it's a good little collection there. And um, if you're interested in that rural market, you can jump online. We'll chuck a link in the description and you can get, get access to the latest dairy, pastoral and horticulture reports. So I'm well worth checking out. Cool. So next up going offshore, right, um, we've got our global partner, Knight Frank's latest Singapore residential market update. Um, so you're over in Singapore recently, um, but first up, what did Knight Frank find? Yeah, so their report kind of showed home buyers are being a little bit more selective with the amount of choice in the market. Yeah. Um, similar to what we're seeing here, kind of resulting in longer decision making and kind of slows down that pace of sales, but yeah. definitely still seeing the demand there. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah. And so um, when you're over there, what, what did you sort of see in the market like? particularly in maybe that development space? Yes, yeah, so obviously there's a lot of high-rise apartment buildings there. Okay. Um, and I guess from my last trip, it's just cool to see how the speed of which they can just pop things up. Um, yeah. Definitely can see them getting up early in the morning, doing their stretches before getting into um, construction. That's crazy. Um, and yeah, those shifts, like double shifts morning and night, um, yeah. yeah, it's cool to see. And that's quite different to New Zealand, right? Because mm. I think New Zealand, most sites, other than maybe sort of tunnels and that sort of stuff would be on single shift. So yeah. um, it makes sense that if you wanted a project done faster, you just like put twice as many people on with yeah. different shifts. Yeah, right? definitely like the, just the speed of which, yeah, things pop up is cool. Yeah, well, that's exciting, eh? And then um, finally to wrap up, we've got our property of the week. So Sam, what have you got for us this week? Yeah, so I've picked 71 Cliffs Road in St. Clair, Dunedin. Award-winning architecture and awe-inspiring views. Uh, it's a four bedroom, three bathroom place on 840 square metres. Um, panoramic views of the surrounding beaches and cities. And just 500 metres from St. Clair Beach. Um, if you're interested in this property, um, get in contact with Craig Palmer from Bailey's Dunedin. Yeah, it's cool. It's a nice house. And then um, for me, I've got this home right here. So I've got 29 Hepburn Street in Freeman's Bay in Auckland. Um, iconic and exquisite, five bedrooms, six bathrooms on 610 square metres. Um, no expense spared in the design and specification of this huge home, just a couple of years old, so basically brand new. Um, perfectly positioned to Ponsonby Rose cafes, restaurants and boutiques. Um, we can confirm it's beautiful. Yeah, so definitely worth, yeah. Definitely worth checking out. Yeah. If you want to learn more, contact Chris Batchelor from Bailey's Takapuna. Well, that said, we'll wrap it up here. So um, massive thanks to the vendor for the property for hosting us today. Um, Chris Batchelor, who's here as well. Uh, cheers, Sam. Yeah, thanks, Chris. Yeah, cool. And um, we'll see you next time. See ya. See ya.